I got the idea uh, probably a year and a half ago, and uh, it was simply a means to put out friends of my music, and it was something that was affordable, but also something that I had seen sell well at, at Reckless and other record stores in the when I'd go to New Orleans or uh, New York, like cassettes were there and affordable and it, um, an interesting way to to hear about new music. Um, all, I was really impressed with certain releases I had seen at shows and I just thought that I could totally, I could do that. It was something I'd always been interested in. I'd made cassettes since I was a kid. Um, make, recording things off the radio, and um, I of course remember the first ones that I had, and it was all. It, it could be a nostalgia thing, or it could just be that I, I like the, the accessibility of it. It's not expensive. It's small. I, I enjoy the the artwork on on some of the more like underground or avant garde releases, and um, I feel like. Any band or artist that wants to do it can do it. You can do any kind of artwork you want, you can make any color you want, you can um, design it however you like. And uh, I definitely enjoy that, the freedom of it. I don't really have um, the time to uh, dub them all myself, so I do get those professionally done. and. But I do like to take the artwork into my own hands, and I, I listen. I cut them all and uh, fold them, and I, I think that's actually part of you know like the, the release experience is that you invite the artists over or you know your friends over, and you have like, a, like this folding party and um, get really excited about you know this is almost done or this is finished, you know. Um, there's a sense of accomplishment there, and I do enjoy putting inserts into each and number them, like I hand number them. Um, I find that's always um, something I enjoy as a as a buyer of like LPs or cassettes if they're hand numbered or have some kind of special insert in them. Like I I appreciate that, so I I try to incorporate that into what I do. I'll handle like mail order and uh, make sure that cassettes are getting into stores around the country. So yeah, relatively small and I, I, I kind of like it that way. You know, I can still, I don't need too many hands, you know, helping me to do it. I can do as few or as many as I like, when I like, and I do enjoy kind of like having that flexibility. In the past, um, I have encouraged the artist to uh, either submit or do a original piece of artwork for the the cassette. Um, I think that's kind of very important to the release. It's um, definitely not the most important, but it also it adds like it, it kind of lets you know what the the band or or what the music is about, what you can expect. Um, so with the first three releases. Um, the artwork was submitted to me. Um, the Angel Olsen cassette, I was sort of like, oh, I really enjoy this, this photo you have on your website or your, your MySpace page, and this would look great as an album cover, and she agreed, so um, that's how that one got used. But the other two, they had a clear vision of what they wanted to use already. As far as the future goes, I, it's hard to say. I mean, just the other you know, the other week, I, I saw someone was putting out like a VHS release, like something that's new material on VHS, which I don't know. That's kind of taking a, a step far, maybe. But um, cassettes, I don't think that they'll stop being made, but I definitely think that there will be fewer labels that that'll do it in the future. If I did have a goal, it would be to. Um, just share the music that I've, I've gotten the privilege to hear with other people. Because cool. um, essentially I'm just a, a fan, you know? <laughs> a fan that took it, uh, took it maybe a little too far, but you know, I, I enjoy it.